Debussy is like a little flower. Um, and to conduct that piece, you really have to be like a gardener. You let the flower grow and you just clear space for it and you do a little bit of pruning. But what you want to do is to create an illusion that it has grown um, on its own because of its DNA and this is what we have. loved Debussy from the moment I heard the first note and I still do um, and every piece he wrote is perfect in its own way and that we cannot say about that many composers I remember having destroyed many school parties because I insisted that we listen to Pelleas and Melisande by Debussy instead of Donna Summer. <laughs> so I made lots of, lots of enemies because of this. Um, I think I'm still the only one I know who had this particular vice. That period, or those decades, at the very beginning of the 20th century, or the last few years of the 19th, uh, were incredibly fertile in many ways. Um, lots of new ideas. Everybody felt, felt and sensed that the romantic period is about to come to an end. But it went through millions of variations as to how it was going to be finished off. Um, some people decided to go smaller in terms of the size of the ensembles and the length of the piece and, and focus the expression and, and the language. Some people decided to, to blow up the structure completely to write massive symphonies for massive orchestras and so on and so forth, and everything in between. And of course Debussy and Stravinsky were working around the same time and, and came to very different conclusions as to where new mu music was going to go. And of course they were both highly interested in each other's music and very complimentary about it. And when Debussy died, Stravinsky wrote a, a piece, um, a chorale, um, in memoriam. And that chorale then later became the last part of his symphony, symphonies of wind instruments, which is one of the most beautiful pieces of his. If you'd like to discover more about this piece and the rest of the orchestra, why not try our iPad app, The Orchestra, featuring Esa Pekka Salonen and the Philharmonia Orchestra. Fully interactive video playback lets you view the orchestra from all angles, and the revolutionary beat map shows you who is playing when. Follow along with synchronized scores, hear the inside scoop in audio commentaries, 
and get a 360 degree view of all the instruments. Available for download in the App Store on iTunes.